Hey guys and welcome to a guide on showing you a few guns you can use between the levels of 1 and 10 basically until the point the flea market is open for you to start buying modifications. Now to start off a lot of these are going to be basic guns but just throwing in a few little tips that might just help you in the sense of modding out your guns whilst you're in raid or just in general. So starting off with our wonderful guy Prapor here. You can always grab yourself a Mosin Infantry. Now this is definitely one of the best guns to use in early wipe, especially because you only have LPS available for you at this point. Due to it being wipe, a lot of people aren't going to be running geared or if they are it's going to be like level 1, level 2, level 3 where LPS can penetrate and one tap to the chest. It is a really good bullet. Obviously, if you're not the best of shots, I wouldn't re wouldn't recommend running the Mosin just because you kind of got one shot and then you miss. And unless you can run away, you're practically dead. If you're not the best of shots, I would recommend using the SKS Carbine. Now, with this gun, you can't actually mount any sights to it. So you would be fully relying on iron sights. If you don't like that, there's another gun I'm going to show you in a bit. But this is definitely one of the best guns that you can use early game, especially with using PS. Because it is a top loading gun and you don't require magazines, you don't have to take in a tactical rig or even a backpack. You can just line your pockets with a stack of PS, grab yourself a bandage, AI2 kit and painkillers and you're basically sorted for your run. This gun is an absolute blast. I've been using it because I've reset my account. And it's, it's just so good. I've been taking down gear people in customs like they're nothing. Now, moving over to Skia. Skia does have a few trades right here. One of them is the Adar. This is definitely one to take note of. The reason being behind it, because... One, the wreck battery costs nothing. And two, it comes with a mount already, so you can just whack a sight directly on it. But of course you got this ugly ass fucking gas tube in the front that takes up most of your view. But if you head over to Peacekeeper and go to tier 1, grab yourself the aimpoint micro spacer high. Then grab yourself the aimpoint mount for the sights and then grab yourself an aimpoint. Now what you need to do is put the, the high mount on top of the mount and then the, T, uh, the aimpoint on top of that. And then boom right here this is the gun i'm going to show you that it looks directly over let's quickly head over to the hideout enter and then here you go you can see that the red top does sit in line with the gas tube in the front but it does this is accurate to where it actually points and it's really good especially m855 having the ability to have a 30 rounder available off the bat early game is definitely a way to go and wreck batteries are found extremely common, common inside of jackets, mili uh, industrial spawns, as well as drawers and filing cabinets. And there is a load of them inside of dorms on customs, which you should really be going to check out if you're trying to get keys and get your tasks done early game. Now, let's say you've killed a scav and you've got yourself either an AKMS, an AKM, a Vepa or something along the lines of that. Iron sights on these aren't the best, but they are okay. Let's say you want to put a sight on it. What you can do is head over to Skia and grab yourself the M1-B gas tube for the AK. With this, it lets you put a sight on it. What you need to do is actually take off the gas tube as well as the handguard, whack that on, and as you can see, there's now a rail. So head over to Peacekeeper. Grab yourself either one of the sights. I actually prefer the reflex sight, the Burris fast fire. Grab myself that. There we go. Pop that on. Boom. You got yourself a sight, which is actually a pretty decent sight. And especially with this kind of gun, the AKMS and the AKM, where they're full auto, it's definitely pretty good. I would also recommend if you are going to be rocking these guns to go single fire. And only go full auto when you enter a building just so you can serve ammo and also your aim isn't going to be that great of a start of a wipe due to you know not having recoil control on those kind of things right there now the mp5 is actually a pretty good gun there is no way of mounting a sight to this at level 
1 to 10. So you would be stuck with iron sights. But it is actually a pretty decent gun and you can buy yourself 30 rounders. But the recoil on this thing is absolutely mental sitting at 72. But I would recommend if you go for more of the heavy hitters like the AKMS and the AKM. Something else to take note, let's say you go and kill a scav and he has some sort of dovetail mount on the gun that he's dropped for you. So let's say he's dropped a AK-74N. When you have dovetails, don't forget to check whenever you loot any gun to see if there is a dovetail. If it says N or M, you can see even on the AKMS and the AKM, it will say AKMN or AKMSN if there's dovetails. So what you can do is head over to Prepper and you can easily buy a dovetail sight right here. Whack it straight on, no problem. Also to take note, have a look at this Polymer AK100 series foregrip. As you can see, it's actually got a grip section down the bottom as well as a light. You can't obviously have this with this uh, front grip right here, but if you have a dovetail gun, you can take off your handguard, whack that on. Then whilst you're looting weapon cases and weapon boxes inside of you know, whatever map you're going and you happen to find a flashlight or a foregrip, you've already upgraded your gun to a pretty decent standard at the start of a wipe. Now these are just a few tips that you can do for early game. Of course, when you hit level 10, the entire thing is going to change because the flea market is going to open. Obviously, there's a change to the flea market where you can only sell finding raid items. So it's definitely going to be expensive, but even just unlocking the flea market is going to help hugely. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week starting at 8am GMT. Don't forget to check out the links in the description as well to our spreadsheet that we're currently building for every single one of our keys, extract tasks and gun build videos. Guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.